Welcome to Greenhorn Linux. Linux for Greenhorns. On this episode of Greenhorn Linux, Adam shows off an annoyance in Ubuntu 12.04 that has driven him back to the awesome Windows Manager full time. Plus, as an added bonus, Adam goes over workflow issues and how they can greatly enhance the Linux experience. Okay, so I know about three weeks ago, um, I just kind of raved about the Unity desktop environment, and, and now I am <clears throat> having second thoughts about that. Don't get me wrong, I still like Unity and everything, but uh, I've come across a couple things that have really uh, hindered my workflow in the Ubuntu environment. So let me just show you, see if I can uh, reproduce this. I've been actually pretty good at reproducing this. So um, let's say I open up, uh, I'll just open up LibreOffice um, on my first workspace. So if I go to the workspace switcher, you can see it's on my first workspace. So let's say uh, I'm in here, I'm working on a Word document, blah, 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 blah. And then I wanna run to my second workspace to open up, let's say a file manager. So uh, I click on my home folder and normally now when I click on LibreOffice it'll jump back to my first workspace which it did properly there okay and then if I go to the workspace switcher you can see exactly how I have both of these laid out and then if I click the home folder it goes back to my uh, home folder in the correct workspace now if I just drag this over like this and then I switch back to my LibreOffice. Now, when I click the home folder, you see it didn't snap to workspace number two. What it does is it actually comes over here under workspace one. And then when I go to workspace switcher, you can see where it's still there, but it won't snap to it properly, which is really a big annoyance because then I have to go back and manually move it. So if I'm doing this every time, it gets very, very frustrating. Now, when I first noticed this, I thought this was me. Uh, I couldn't figure out how to reproduce this. And then I spent probably uh, like an hour just, just going through uh, everything and just trying to troubleshoot of, of why uh, or what I might be doing. Uh, to get this to happen. So eventually I came to the conclusion that it isn't me. Um, at first I thought maybe, okay, maybe this is my graphics card. Um, I don't think it's my graphics card. I think it's a, a bug in the uh, Compiz uh, uh, Windows Manager that, that Unity uses. And the reason I'm saying that is uh, I can reproduce this in VirtualBox. I can reproduce this on my desktop, which uses the NVIDIA driver. And I can reproduce this on my laptop, which uses the Intel graphics card. So I don't think it's a graphics card issue. I just think it's a bug in Compiz. Now, I did uh, go on the... Um, uh, the launchpad.net, uh, which is basically or the bugs page. Uh, and I've been looking all over for this. The problem is I don't really know how to describe this, but I think I found something where people were talking about a similar issue. Uh, it seems like this is a known issue. Um, I don't know what time frame uh, this will be um, uh, be looked at and or if it will be fixed. Uh, and again, I'm not even sure if it's Ubuntu's responsibility or the maintainers of Compiz, if it's actually uh, in effect in the Compiz Windows Manager. So... Uh, there you go. Um, this little bug has uh, really decreased my workflow. So uh, for me, it's back to the awesome Windows Manager. So if you've run across this and you thought maybe it was just you, how are you using the Unity desktop environment? Rest assured, it's not you. It's a bug. So if perhaps this bug really ruins your workflow like it has for me, uh, there's a couple things you can do. You can either A, uh, realize how this bug works and just kind of work around it to, to try to avoid it. So for example, I just don't snap anything on this right hand side anymore. Um, or uh, if you find that too cumbersome, you can also check out the link below, which shows you how to install other desktop environments and explains all of that in great detail. So that way, maybe you can pick a desktop environment or a Windows manager that suits your needs better. Now, I know it sounds like I'm being pretty harsh on the UD desktop environment, which I am. Uh, don't get me wrong, I still really, really like it. I like where it's evolving. It's just that at this point, this bug really, really impacts my personal workflow. Now, uh, like I said, you could try to work around it. So, for example, uh, you could just ignore workspaces and you could just open up all of your applications on one workspace. That way you would never ever run into that issue. And then what you could do is you could just do the Windows W key to go into expose mode. So that way you would never ever 
uh, run into that issue. The other thing you could do is you could just realize that you may have to spend a little bit more time moving your windows around when you do the spread mode, uh, which is this mode here. So you just realize that, um, uh, for example, if you snap this over and then you run back to here and then you click your home folder, see how it just snapped right back to this, you'd be like, oh, great, now I need to just move that back over. So uh, if you want to deal with that, that that's cool. Um, you know, it's the choice is totally up to you. So this leads me to my next two topics. First of all, uh, let's talk about bugs. Um, in Linux, yes, there are bugs. There are usability issues. However, my argument is no matter which operating system you use, whether it be Windows, Mac, or Linux, there are going to be issues. Now, uh, some pros and cons to some of the bugs that you'll find in other operating systems. Uh, Windows, to me, seems a little bit more... Uh, you're not going to come across these types of things uh, within the Windows operating system as far as uh, moving uh, windows and stuff like that because everything is kind of vetted by uh, Microsoft. Now, where you will run into issues is with third-party software. Uh, for example, um, uh, Sony Vegas Editor, I've had tons of issues uh, not uh, correctly reading all of my memory, and the only way I can get this fixed is if I get an upgrade and pay a whole bunch of extra money when this should never have been an issue in the first place. So uh, Linux community handles things much differently. If there is a bug, you uh, uh, fill it out. Um, you, as the end user, have the right to fix that bug if you so choose. Um, or you can wait for the community to fix the bug for you. Uh, so again, just different ways of approaching uh, bugs and other issues. Now with Linux, um, one of the things that I've noticed is that there could be a, a tendency for slightly more issues when compared to the Windows operating system, simply because there's just everything is so modular, uh, people just can't test all the thousands upon thousands of different combinations. Now having said all of this, one of the huge advantages to Linux, and why I personally really, really respect and like it, is because of the fact that everything is so modular, you can really, really tweak your workflow uh, to something that you really, really want. Unlike Windows, where I've tried to tweak my workflow, I'm using third party, I'm, I'm adding all this extra layer of crap on there, and it just seems to slow down my system. Not so with the Linux operating system. So this leads me right into the next topic. Let's really take advantage of all that Linux has to offer, uh, and that is workflow and really tweaking your system to meet your needs. So. I don't usually see a lot of videos about this subject. I, I, I mean, basically people just show off their desktop and I have no idea how they got there and, and what are some of the pros and cons of setting up some of these things. So at this point, uh, I'm going to go through some of the different desktop environments that we've installed and I'm going to show you how you could set some things up to maybe enhance your workflow. Okay, first up, uh, I'm going to jump into XFCE and show you some things in here. Okay, some workflow ideas. So uh, first of all, um, we can configure these panels however you want. For example, uh, you may want um, the panel up here. Let's say you're going to use uh, Unity 50% of the time and maybe uh, XFCE 50% of the time. So maybe you want something similar to the Unity desktop environment and the XFC desktop environment. So if I were to do that, I would drag my panel up here. I could add some stuff to the panel by adding a new item to the panel. And then I can tweak some stuff um, that's already on my panel. So for example, this this thing here, you know, when you launch applications, they pop up. It's just very similar to, to Windows where this shows a task list of all of your applications. But it only shows, as of right now, everything on your current workspace. So if you wanted, you could set up different filters. You could say show windows from all workspace viewpoints, uh, show windows from all monitors if you have a dual monitor set up. Uh, so for right now I'm just going to say show windows from all workspace and viewpoints. And by default this isn't set up, but what's nice is let's say I go over here and I launch my web browser. Now I still have other tasks, so when I click there, it just immediately jumps back to my other workspace. So you can see if this works for you. Um, you can also just click the workspace here. Uh, but again, it's just tweaking this to enhance your workflow. So personally, uh, after using Unity, I like the idea that I had all of my uh, windows uh, available to just quickly click on to jump from a different workspace. So I personally, if I were to use XFCE, I would just do this. In fact, I have this set up in my awesome Windows Manager for this exact same behavior. 
Now if you are using Unity, you will notice that on Unity by default everything is on the left hand side and on XFCE side of things everything's on the right hand side. Now uh, this can be tweaked in XFCE. Let's go up to Applications, we're going to go to Settings, Settings Manager. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Window Manager. And then here is your button layout. So uh, what you can do is you can just move this over like so. You can drag this down. You can see everything's kind of updating uh, immediately. And then this would be hide and then this would be maximize. So uh, I believe it's set up very similar to this in the Unity. Uh, maybe these two are reversed, whatever. You can go back in and figure all of that out. But uh, my point is, if you wanted consistency between Ubuntu 12.04 and XFCE, because you're jumping in 50% of the time, um, then you can uh, perhaps changing the button layout would be something for you. Another thing is think about your keyboard shortcuts. If you go into the keyboard here, you can go to Application Shortcuts. Um, this is a little bit trickier to use, especially if you're new to Linux, but you can actually uh, uh, add um, stuff to automatically start, like, for example, Firefox, just say OK, and then just type in your command. I'll just say the Windows key plus I will launch the Internet. Again, you can come up with whatever scheme you want, and then as soon as I hit the Windows key and the I button, Firefox immediately launches. If you go back into Window Manager, you can go to Keyboard. Uh, these are keyboard shortcuts that uh, basically influence how you interact with the windows. So, for example, everyone knows Alt F4 is to close a window. Personally, uh, I find that annoying. And in the Awesome Windows Manager, it's actually a different key combination. It's actually Shift Windows C. Um, and so I just prefer to do that. So uh, now if I just hit uh, Shift Windows C, it immediately closes that window. And uh, if I hit Windows I, I immediately launch Firefox and Control or uh, Shift Windows C to close that. So again, I've just made that up to enhance my consistency between the awesome Windows Manager and XFCE. Now you can also use the Alt tab, which you're familiar with, with probably the Windows operating system. Uh, personally, I don't really, um, that's, that works okay for me, but um, in the awesome Windows Manager, you can actually switch the application. And so I'm just gonna set this up. It's uh, Windows J in awesome. And again, I'm just trying to keep consistency between my awesome Windows Manager and XFCE. Uh, now when I hit Windows J, it just cycles between there. Um, so if I have like a whole bunch of stuff open, I have a whole bunch of file managers open. Uh, I can just hit the Windows J key and then it'll just cycle through. And you can see everything that you can set with keyboard shortcuts for resizing to maximize windows vertically. Um, Again, a lot of control, and this is the beauty of Linux, you can really enhance your workflow. Uh, you can set up tons of keyboard shortcuts, however you want to set this up. All right, and then uh, let's say you would like something, you really liked how Unity Desktop Environment had a panel or uh, where you could switch applications on the left-hand side. Let's say you really dig that. So we're going to go into Panel Preferences. We're going to kind of set this up. We're going to add a panel. Um, this will be panel number two, but we're going to need to set this up vertically. And I'm going to automatically, actually, I'm going to make the length 100%. Actually, I don't want it to overlap with this here. Okay, so we set something like that. Um, and then we can lock the panel. Then we're going to go to add items. I am going to add the Windows button. Okay, and then now you can see um, it shows up here and it shows up on this panel. So let's say I want to remove it from panel one. Uh, I can easily do that by just clicking Windows buttons and remove. Are you sure you want to remove that? Yes. So now this just pops up on this side. And then now I have to configure that a little bit more. So um, if you go to items under windows buttons and double click it, um, if you want, we can get rid of show labels. So that'll just show the icons. Uh, and then if you want, we can uh, group and we can say show from all workspace or viewpoints. So let's open up some stuff here. 
and see how this works. So now I've got a couple of file browsers open and then you can see uh, if I want to jump to this um, a, a list will come up and then I can click which one I want to go to. So let's say I'm in my uh, documents here. Um, this will say documents or Atom and then I know which one I just clicked. Let's try putting this on a different workspace and let's go into public now when I click I can go to Atom and it immediately jumps back to there so if you wanted to set this up it's it's sort of similar to uh, Unity um, uh, you can do that uh, you can do this with uh, LXDE and configure all their panels um, basically uh, this is the beauty of Linux you have tons of flexibility so let's say you've totally messed this up you don't like how you've reset this up and you just want to go back to the default well the easiest way to set that up is go to your home folder and then hit control H this will show hidden files you want the dot config folder so double click that and then you're gonna look for something called XFCE once you find XFCE4, you're going to click that, and then you are going to hit the delete key. This will delete everything in XFCE. And then now uh, all you need to do is log out. Uncheck save session for future login. Click log out. And now when you re-log into XFCE, it should set up the default uh, uh, panels and everything for you see it says welcome to the first start of the panel use the default config and you're right back to the default so here's my personal opinion uh, spend uh, some time in each desktop environment just to see how the workflow in each desktop environment works for you and then set up your own desktop environment um, it, you know, this is the, the beauty of Linux, is that you can tweak everything and really make something uh, uh, work for you and your workflow with whatever you're trying to accomplish. I know a lot of people do not like the Unity desktop environment, but honestly, it has given me a new appreciation for workflow, and uh, it has given me ideas how to set up my awesome Windows Manager to enhance my workflow even more. So uh, even though um, that bug annoys the heck out of me, I still appreciate how much I've gained out of attempting to use the Unity desktop environment. And who knows, in future releases it may be even more polished and I may find myself coming back to it. Alright, hopefully you found this video helpful, as I've said. Uh, be sure to check out my website, greenhornlinux.com. Thanks for watching.